the witch of the wood. I have just returned from my ceremonial walk to gather the nightly offering from the villagers. Cheesecake, man. Cheesecake. You are welcome. Please join me. Well, I sure have those villagers trained well, don't I? Free cheesecake every night. <laughs> mm. Well, we're here today to discuss something woodsy and witchy. Let's get started. Oh, all right. <sighs> ah, comfy. Hey, everybody. This is the Todd Sampler. I'm Todd Quality Yeager in Beardorama for the Without Your Head Horror Podcast. You know, the one with Nasty Neil and the lovely Annabelle Lecter. Do I know people or what? Today, I am here to discuss Woods Witch. Directed by Lauren Francesca and Sean C. Phillips. When two up-and-coming internet bloggers take on a road trip to film footage from a forest that is known for disappearance and death, they find themselves in a fight against the supernatural for more than ratings. The events to follow considerably deteriorate, spiraling the adventure seekers head on into magic, mayhem, and murder. Now, depending on your taste for films of this type, movies, films, hmm, what do you call these? Well, I'll just, if I say movie, don't yell at me, okay? So, depending on your taste for these kinds of things, especially if it's a Phillips or Francesca Phillips production, this will either delight or dismay. It's kind of up to you. Now, of course, this is a humorous take on the Blair Witch Project. I mean, what would so many films be without this one? So it's inspiration, or this one's inspiration from maybe one of the others. Now, wh where do I put this? Oh! I think I'll put it in my hippie dick tote. The hippie dick tote. You can take it anywhere. Get yours today. I'm going to say right off the bat, this one was a bit of a surprise. I had seen the previous one, Amityville Karen, and there were some inconsistencies in, the, the disease in there. And I thought, okay, Woods Witch, here we go. But I was like, oh, because it's snappy. It's uh, a bit tight on, you know, the editing and keeping things going. Um, yeah, something. Now, the cast. Top build on the cover or artwork, you got Sally Kirkland and Tom Sizemore. Well, Tom Sizemore is in just one scene, so I'm going to move him kind of down here a little bit. But your main focus is on Lauren Francesca as Jocelyn and Sean C. Phillips as Jonah the video series hosts, and um, they're quite something. Their back and forth is just nonstop. You then, of course, have Sally Kirkland, who is having a blast in this, you can tell. Robert Lasardo. Wow, he was, he was cool. 
to watch in this. I really enjoyed his part. You also have Lisa Wilcox, Bill Dawes, Kelly Lynn Ryder. And then you have Tom Sizemore and Brad Grunberg in one scene. Um, they do their shtick. Ken Devishan. You remember him from Borat. James Duval. Oh, God, he was so great in Beast Mode. And, and Carl Solomon, I worship you. <laughs> You're thinking, where did they get these people? How did they get these people? That doesn't matter. It's all in good fun. And just because some of these stars have been in massively huge Oscar-winning films doesn't mean they have to stick with that. They're having fun. You could tell. Honestly, you could see it in this film. And back to Sally Kirkland. Wow, she is a foul-mouthed hoot in this. And I gotta say to Sally, it is so nice to see an actress who, like, say, Kelly McGillis, allows herself to age naturally and gracefully. And I like to see actors doing that too. Instead of going the 80 for Brady wind tunnel plastic surgery route. Mm. But, for example, um, here's me in my younger days. Just look at that long, gorgeous auburn mane. Look at this guy. Sultry. And look at me now, still devilishly handsome, just with more skin tags. You can read me like Braille. Woods Witch, yes, is a bit of a surprise. You're thinking, how can they make 90 minutes of something relatively no budget and simple, act just entertaining consistently? But... It keeps things tight, as I mentioned. It keeps moving. It has an overflowing cast. People just keep turning up and turning up to the point there's just too many cooks. <laughs> but, you know, that adds to the craziness. Trying to keep on top of things. There's so much energy. Uh, even in just the first 20 minutes, you might need to take a breath. <laughs> yes. Where would this movie be without something like the Blair Witch Project having appeared on this earth? The humor, you could say, it's, it's predominant. It's not really a scary horror movie. This is an outright comedy. You know, kind of along the lines of The Blair Thumb. Hilarious, by the way. And you gotta see that thumb. The Bogus Witch Project, which was more of a mixed bag. And then woodsy shenanigans kind of in the realm of um, Bunny the Killer thing. This one still has my head scratching. I, I'm not sure what I still think about that one. But, uh, of course, then there are elements from more serious films, like The Last Broadcast, believed to have come before The Blair Witch. Wake Wood which was a resurrection of Hammer Films. Lucky McKee's The Woods. And, of course, the iconic The Witch. Wouldst thou like the taste of butter? Gretel and Hansel. Even a bit of Yellow Brick Road, of which, you know, Robert Eggers was on the crew. Pretty nifty. There's also some mysteriousness of senseless. Sam Mason Bell's interesting and very cerebral woodsy outing. Of which, yes, my voice was one of the ghostly voices in this. And, oh, Psycho 8. What are you doing there, you rascal? Oh, hey! Psycho Ape! By the way, I think I'll mention now that uh, Bill Whedon demanded that I be in Psycho Ape 2, which at this time I just shot my scenes for. 
Here's a behind the scenes look. Isn't that cute? Isn't that true? You just watch. Sirloin is going to become a household name. Back to Wood's Witch, of course. Lauren Francesca's line delivery for her I Hate Nature speech was <laughs> took me back to a sort of mink stole Connie Marble Pink Flamingos delivery. She did that also in Amityville Karen quite well. Lauren is, she's snappy. She can do lines, lines, lines within a, a take, and it just, it's perfect. I got to give it to you, Lauren. Quite a gal. And then there are also lines in this, like, you guys are late. Well, we're influencers. <laughs> it's funny because it's true. And you called on something. And something came. Well, we have mace. <laughs> now, okay, haha, ha, not so much when I do it, but trust me, when you watch it, you'll giggle a bit. Also, one of my faves, I'm taking your shoe. Now, not just bull shoes, just I'm taking your shoe. It makes you wonder. <laughs> just the one. There are things, of course, that have to pause to contemplate. And Woods Witch is no different. There's a scene that's sort of a tent confessional, a la Blair Witch, that I found rather stunning. Here's a glimpse. Now, did you catch that in the background? Aha. That was genius. There's This is going to be one of my favorite little movie scenes because it's just so bizarre. Now, you may not ha ha ha, but you're going to be like, this, this is really weird, and you'll be laughing in a way because it is so strange, and I really appreciated that. That was a great moment. Now, Woods Witch has one of the most awkward sex scenes this side of MacGruber. Or is it MacGruber? Yeah. I am not kidding. That had me just like... Lick my kneeballs! <laughs> I'm turning more red. <laughs> I, I'm, not, I'm not making myself laugh. That line. <laughs> when you hear it, it's... <laughs> okay. A little, a little self-reiki. Oh, I am an Usui Reiki master teacher, in case y'all need any. Just give me a holler. Okay. Woods Witch. This one, sure, there's going to be people who are going to rate it low or say stupid but if you're in the right frame of mind and appreciate that this thing just keeps going, it's, it's lively and everyone was having a blast. It, it comes off the screen and have a, have a couple beverages, partake in a little something if that's what you need to do. But I had a good time. I did. All right, everybody. Since you were so good. Game time. Now, I offered which which, but you know, we can also play Space 1999, if you like. The Bugaloos, one of my favorites. Or 
since this was a spooky movie review, we can do Green Ghost. This is the original one from 1965, by the way. This is not the, the remade one in the 90s. So stick around after the credits. We'll play some games. We'll have some. Cheesecake, man. Cheesecake. Mmm. Oh. Well, that sound can only mean one thing. Another villager just left me an offering. Hmm. Well, that just means more free cheesecake for me. Hmm. Hey, thanks for joining in. This is Todd Quality Yeager for the Todd Sampler for Without Your Head. Thanks for joining in. Hmm. Hmm. Guess I gotta get going. See ya.